ch- biting off nibbles of it and spitting it in the bowl. Nobody would That's give him a knife. That's horrific. Nobody told him where the knives were. Uh. And he, had, he he saw me chopping up my uh chopping up a pickle making relish like, like I, I get that those whole pickles that come yeah. in like little plastic pouch and i'm, I'm chopping the whole pillow up. The hot I'm, mamas yeah <laughs> i'm chopping the pickle up and i'm looking around for guards the whole time because i'm not i've got a fucking knife in my hand and i'm just all right get this shit fucking chopped up real quick and i'm you know i'm chopping it like a professional like first lengthwise and then down the other way so i get these little cubes he's like silly got him a knife What's Zelly doing with that knife? <laughs> and I'm like, shut the fuck up, Greg. I'm making relish. Shut <laughs> the fuck up, Greg. And he's like projecting. He's like, ooh, Zelly got that knife. Zelly oh, <laughs> wants me to quiet down about contraband. Zelly <laughs> don't want nobody to know he got a knife. Got a shank in the Zelly. Got a shank in his cube. Oh, Mr. Myers here. A number one. Oh, Zelly don't know. I've got a two. Zelly <laughs> don't know. I've got a neurological disorder, which means I have to dictate everything I do. <laughs> got a brain tumor pressing on my cerebellum. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Size of a golf ball. Chop it up. Silly got the blade. Silly got the blade. Shut the fuck up. I'm going to stick you. I lose more and more of my memories by the day. It's depressing, but you got to forge ahead. You know? <laughs> yeah. I, I, um, I'm just like, shut the fuck up, Greg. So like, where'd you get the knife? I, I can't say, Greg. And somebody told me where it was. Where do they keep it? I can't say, Greg. It's not It's not my knife. You got it. Can I borrow it? It ain't mine to give. <laughs> it was so shot. funny that like when you were saying, and I knew two of the three knife locations, yeah. I was thinking like, fuck, like shanks? Like, damn it, like a sharpened toothbrush? And you're like, and we mostly used it for cutting up pickles and relish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you you know, know, it wasn't for hurting people. It could it be. Was for, right? If you wanted to hurt somebody, you put a lock in a sock. Oh. Where do you get? Locks? We had padlocks. Oh, it's commissary. Yeah. You can get a padlock out of the commissary. That's Everybody. What... That was one of the first things that I bought too. I got so paranoid at the first week or two after the rape thing. I was so paranoid that somebody was going to be jealous of me being in there for two months, and they were going to plant drugs or contraband on, in my in my locker and like mm-hmm. frame me so I would be in there for longer. And I was Shit. thinking like, I'm holding it together real well. I'm focused on getting out October third. But if they were to sit, give me another like two months, like I'll do it or whatever. But man, it's going to be disheartening if they tack on more time or to, to this thing. Like I'm focused on this this end of this end that I can see that's at the end of the tunnel. And if they tack on more, you know, if I'd started with four months, I'm focused on four months from now. But I did they and I'd to be move okay. The with goal that. line hurts. If they move the goal yeah. line halfway through the race, it's it's so disheartening. It's so discouraging. And so I was terrified that like they were going to hear that there was about to be like a search or and and they were going to hide their shit in my locker or intentionally like get me dirty, mm-hmm. you know, plant, th- yeah. throw some throw some weed or some synthetic marijuana, which was in there or or put a pill or Spice. whatever. Spice was in there. Yeah, this this. I'll, I'll talk about the guy who got busted for that and what they did to him next week. But uh, so I, I told Snow, Snow wanted to go running and I was like, I'm not going. And he's like, why not? And uh, David told him in Spanish, like, why? And, uh, and and he was like, oh, shit. Let's be right back. And he comes back with a padlock and a little notepad with a combination on it. Here you go. Here, don't lose this. I'm like, I locked that bitch up. And I had a padlock for the rest of the time I was there. Snow I like to think rules. that Snow went cool to commissary and he's like, I'll be needing a lock. Five dollars. You gonna tax the family? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, locking a sock works that antifa professor smacked some guy on the top of the head with that immediate like pouring of blood i had yeah. no idea how much that was a bike that lock do. that's a different scenario though <clears throat> and, you know, um, bike locks have like a cable attached to them and you plug the cable into the block mm-hmm. this this is like you know padlock with the like like high school locker type thing and you put that in a tube sock and then it's it's that'd my, be even uh, more devastating because yeah. the smaller point of impact it's heavier yeah yeah, yeah they um I used to do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in the with some prison guards, and they told me about locking a sock. And the, those guys allowed it to happen, like they'd let mm-hmm. them punish each other. And it was also th- something that they were always concerned about. Like th- they just felt like if they were to get assaulted, locking a sock would be, would be the opening volley. Could kill you. They could totally kill you like that. Um, another thing about that book, Mister Mercedes, the retired cop, he carries two things on his person: a revolver and something he calls the happy slapper. The happy slapper is a tube sock oh. with ball bearings in the end and a knot tied in it. He's got like a, a double handful of ball bearings in the end and it's 
and if he and, and he uses it to fuck people up, you know, if, if somebody's getting out of line, he doesn't even hesitate. He's got he's got his hand on it in his uh, suit jacket, and he's out with it, and he's fucking whacking him in the throat. In the movies, <laughs> like whenever there's gangsters, that's usually the core of their toughness. Like it's not so much that they're better fighters because you can see they're not. They look like lousy, like it's regular people. But they go straight to the stabbing and the lock and socks and the happy slappers. and it, it's, it's about not hesitating to perform the act of violence and not yeah. doing that thing that everybody else does where we escalate from arguing to getting in each other's face to shoving. shoving. Like, like even I knew in high school, like, like, and like, like, like the fight or two I got in in like middle school through high school, I was like, we got to skip that middle phase. That's where, that's where there's uncertainty. Like as soon as it's for sure on, and we're like face to face, got to hit him in the face as hard as I can. Like, this is my chance to like strike first and strike hard. And like, like, you know, the way high school yeah. fights work is like, well, who bled the most, you know? Well, mm -hmm. that guy had ground control. As you can see, he, he had <laughs> complete control of the octagon, Joe. Well, um, um, actually, uh, actually Goldie, I noticed that Billy had a bloody nose. Mm -hmm. And so Kyle won. Yeah. It's not yep. damage. I, I did that in seventh grade. I, I was in eighth grade and my opponent was in seventh grade. So nice. I assume, right, you'd think I would win. Turns out, after I agreed to the fight, I learned that he was held back a year and that really wasn't <laughs> to my advantage. And he was bigger than me because puberty was a distant you know, uh, uh, location for me to arrive at. And, you know, so we're, we're squaring off and I hit him. I hit him right in the eye, right? And it powed. Good shot. That was my opening volley. I didn't do the wrestle, the shove, or anything. It wasn't a sucker punch either. We were both squared up. I popped him in the eye, and then it starts tearing. And I'm like, what's the matter, Trevor? You crying? That was the highlight for me in that fight. <laughs> and <laughs> the, then everything went precipitously down. Yeah, <laughs> he was just better than me at fighting, and he hit me like again and again and again. And like, I want to say like 15 minutes of getting hit. I was <laughs> What's like, What's wrong, Trevor? Are you crying? Because everything in my field is crying. <laughs> <laughs> like after, like I, mean, I don't know if it was 15 no, minutes. No, really? Are you? Because my eyes are swollen so, so much I can't see. <laughs> it wasn't that. I did have a black eye, though. And that, you know, was a mark of shame that lasted a week or two. And uh, he had some bruises. It wasn't, I'm, I'm kind of exaggerating. It wasn't the only time I hit him. But uh, I did lose. And it was clear because 10 minutes into it, I was like, you know, I'm not really mad anymore. I just want to stop. We're not so different, you and I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, except our punch you count are, is two to you one. Are, you're bigger and stronger. <laughs> yeah. I'm afraid of what's to come. <laughs> <laughs> and I lost a fight in eighth grade. It happened. Yeah. I Thank God. I, I avoided all of that by being enormous at that age. <laughs> <laughs> just being big and wide. Like that, that, that saved me because and I... It, it, you probably won't believe this, but most of the time I would get myself into trouble was because of my big mouth. Get out. Yeah, me too. No. You know, some, <laughs> some people think, thought the things I said were rude. <laughs> really, they were just hilarious. <laughs> <laughs>